G'day everyone, welcome back to the Kamajin's Kitchen. We have beetroot. It's been fermenting for two weeks, so we're going to bottle it up. And we've got a few special tips and tricks in here to help with our keeping of the fermented beetroot. But we'll also have a bit of a taste. So, come and join me. We've got our normal jars here with a fancy funnel I bought off Amazon. But we've got some interesting lids. These caps come with a nice little silicon seal in here. And importantly, a silicon plug. Because they're going to continue to ferment even in the fridge, we'll get some carbon dioxide build up in there. And this will just pop open if there's too much pressure rather than breaking the jar. So they'll be handy for this. Now my problem is getting from this into that. So let's give it a shot. Let's pour some of the liquid out. Now we'll get our spoon. Now if we have a look at this, we'll notice our chigoga, however you pronounce it, um, or candy cane beetroot has all turned the same colour. And that's because I put in the bull's blood. Now I'm going to take one off and give it a taste. It's not meant to be soft like normal pickled beetroot or cooked beetroot. It's meant to be quite crunchy. Oh, that's nice. That is really good. Okay, so we've got our star anise in there, which will go into our jar. Some bay leaves, mustard seeds. That has come out really nicely. I'm pleased with that. Pour some more liquid into that one. Last one. Let's get some of the peppercorns in the other jars. Oops. All right, so this one's ready for eating straight away, I think. There we have it, homegrown beetroot, all bottled up, ready to go in the fridge with one small one, which I'll eat fairly soon. Have you got a beetroot recipe? Do you like fermented or pickled? Let me know in the comments. And as always, like, subscribe, hit bell icon, YouTubey stuff, and come and join me in the garden and or the kitchen. Enjoy life, catch in the garden.